So for all of this, uh, um, how do we go about ensuring that right understanding that, uh, you know, that program uh, you put forward, but uh, we wanted to ask about meditation. Would meditation be useful? Yeah, in fact, uh, I mean, we have been using a, a very general term, you know, uh, <coughs> uh, by saying that if we have to understand, then we have to pay attention. So if we look at this exercise one, we talked about this paying attention. So if we have to understand any reality and ultimately the whole reality, the existence or for that matter any unit, we have to start paying attention to the reality. So the way I look at meditation or any such process, you know, I see it as a process of paying attention, paying attention to something which I want to understand. So if I have to understand human being, I have to pay attention to the human being. If I want to understand the self, I have to pay attention to the self. Right. If I want to understand this activity of desire, I have to pay attention to this activity of desire. An interesting thing is that if I pay attention, I as self, if I pay attention and if I observe that reality, right, then I have this potential to understand the reality. Mm. So that potential is already there in me. I only have to decide to pay attention to that reality. When I pay attention to that reality, I can observe that reality. When I observe that reality, I can understand about that reality. Mm. And of course, we said that if we can understand the reality, we can live with that reality in a meaningful manner, in a mutually fulfilling manner. So what is important is paying attention. So you may call it meditation, you may call it a concentration, you know. But the process to know is to pay attention. That is what we have been saying. So if you want to, if you want to know something, if you want to understand something, First thing we have to do is to pay attention. We as self. So self has to pay attention. So the process of understanding of the reality, whether one particular reality or the whole existence, is to pay attention to it. So if you look at what is this, you know, paying attention and what are the details of it, right? We can see that the purpose of paying attention is to see the reality as it is, to understand the reality. And what is the process of paying attention? Very simple, right? Just take the decision to pay attention to a particular reality and you can start paying attention because that capacity to pay attention is already there in you, there in each one of us, each self, right? So the purpose of paying attention or you may call it meditation or anything, right, is to understand the reality which we are paying attention to. Mm. 
and the process of attention paying attention is very simple you just take the decision that it is important for me to understand this and therefore i will pay attention right you will start paying attention to it so so natural it is right mm. so natural it is then we said that when we are paying attention to something right i have to now look at my activity of the self right so depending upon my level of activity of the self from where we are paying attention i can see certain aspects of the reality and we are saying in broad sense there are five aspects of the reality so we have this form we have the property right we have this purpose or the relationship then we have this harmony and the coexistence so these five things are there the form is there the property is there the natural characteristic or the you know participation the relationship is there then that innateness this self organization this harmony is there and the coexistence is there so these are the five aspects of reality and these five aspects of reality i can see depending upon which level of activity of the self you know i am working at mm-hmm. so if i am just working at the level of selecting and testing i can see the form i can see the you know form of it in terms of shape size color and so on if i am working at the level of analyzing and selecting analyzing and comparing at the level of thinking i can also is- extract the information about the property of that unit and so on hmm. so when we are working at the level of selecting testing and analyzing we can see the form and the property but to see these three aspects of natural characteristic innateness and coexistence we have to look within right and look at the level of the activity of contemplation understanding and realization mm-hmm. so this is the way of you know uh, seeing things this is the way of understanding things understanding the reality right by way of paying attention and by way of paying attention at higher and higher level of activity of the self so that is how we can see the reality and we can see the different aspects of reality mm-hmm. and if we do this ultimately what would it mean it would mean that i am able to realize this coexistence understand this harmony right contemplate over this relationship okay and if i can do this i will have this feeling of love right feeling of love for every unit in existence in nature and with this feeling of love i will express it in the form of compassion right in the form of responsibility towards my relationship right with everyone unconditional so this is the outcome of my paying attention this is the outcome of meditation mm-hmm. so we can see what is the you know purpose of paying attention or purpose of meditation what is the process of meditation and what is the outcome of meditation or paying attention so if this purpose is clear purpose of meditation purpose of paying attention is clear and if the object of attention is within b1 right it can lead to awakening of this contemplation understanding and eventually this realization so we have to go right up to b1 you know that higher activity of this self if we are only limiting ourselves to this b2 right then we cannot move up to that you know understanding of relationship harmony and coexistence 
right? Mm-hmm. Then things won't work. So if the object of attention is outside, or it is, you know, at the level of B two, it does not yield any significant results. However, elaborate the proposal of you know, process of meditation may be. One continues to live at the level of B two, and just living at the level of B two, as we have seen, will not yield much result. Wow. It will not lead to a state of harmony and happiness in continuity. Ultimately, we have to move to the level of B one, to the level of contemplation, understanding, and realization in the self. Unfortunately, if we look at what we are doing today, we are focusing our attention most of the time outside because we think that the world outside is important. We do not see that self is there, and self is also important. In fact, the self is central to human existence. So that basic realization is not there. Therefore, we are not paying attention to the self. Even when we pay attention to the self, we most of the time restrict ourselves to be two. <clears throat> this imagination part of the self, this desire, thought, and expectation part of the self. and we are not able to see whether it is pure or impure right? whether it is based on knowledge or it is deluded so first we have to understand that self is important and in this self b2 is important <clears throat> but then we also have to see that b1 is important right mm. and b1 that is understanding the right understanding part is important and only when this b1 is active and it is guiding this b2 then b2 will also become meaningful otherwise it will be a deluded self right and it will create so many problems which it is creating anyway so this process of paying attention has to range starting from the lowest activity of the self of selecting and testing to the highest activity of the self that is realization and authentication then we'll be able to see the reality in its completeness and when we see the reality in its completeness right we have this realization of coexistence which leads to feeling of love and compassion Mm-hmm. Yeah. So with this, you know, can we move to the next slide? <clears throat> yeah, there are specific examples. You know, we may not go into this specific examples, but you know, people have worked on this very extensively in many of the traditions, right? In the East and in the West, that people have worked on these details. right and they have come up with specific you know uh, uh, methods of paying attention but essential thing is this you know that capacity to pay attention is there in the self and we have to take the decision and second there are different aspects of this reality different levels and different aspects right so we have to take you know work on that range so one of this example is this vipassana meditation which Buddha is talking about it, and vipassana means basically to see, you know, in detail, see in fineness, right? See it in its completeness. That's the basic idea, right? with all details, to see with all details. And uh, one of the description is saying is that you know, these four things we have to see. Right. we have to see at the level of the body that is kaya then we have to see at the level of sensation which is much finer than the body the body is a very gross thing but the sensation is much finer than this you know gross body then we have to see at the level of sanskar right those basic acceptances which are there in our 
self right they may be dormant they may be active right? the description that we have been talking about so we have to be aware of this we have to pay attention to this sanskar and then we have to go deeper okay and we have to pay attention to our the basic underlying laws of existence that is called dhamma okay. so what it is saying is that pay attention to the body so if you want to understand human being if you want to understand the reality pay attention to the body pay attention to the gross things then pay attention to subtler things you know like sensation which is much more subtle than the gross body then pay attention to still subtler things you know because these thoughts this sensations you know are guided by your feeling your thoughts so start paying attention to that and then it's still finer than that it's still subtler than that is this underlying laws you know the basic principles under which things are working so that dhamma you know that basic underlying law has to be understood and in our case when we were describing this relationship has to be understood this harmony has to be understood this coexistence has to be understood right and it has to be understood to the subtle most level you know subtle most level of activity so this is one such description and we can have many such descriptions but this is one such description that buddha you know talks about and similarly if you talk about this patanjali you know he talks about this eight you know levels of observation how you can go about developing yourself to see the reality as it is so starting with the with your interaction with the world outside and then paying attention to your you know self you know in terms of what you have to do with your own body and yourself and then the detailing of what can be done at the level of body in terms of asana and pranayama then finally deciding at one point that okay now i had enough observation outside now i have to set things right at the level of self so i have to pay attention to the self and then at the level of self we start paying attention so we decide what are the things to be seen and understood so we have this dharana and then we pay attention that is what is dhyan and when we pay attention and we see the reality in its completeness with all five aspects of it that is samadhi so all these descriptions are given by different systems you know of <laughs> practices but in a sense the important thing is that we decide to pay attention and the purpose of paying attention is to understand the reality in its completeness the process of paying attention is just taking the decision to pay attention and to pay attention to it you know, and pay attention through different levels of activity of this and the outcome of this paying attention ultimately would be that we are able to understand the reality understand the coexistence the harmony relationship and be with that coexistence harmony and relationship so be with that feeling of love and compassion so this is the outcome of paying attention understanding the coexistence harmony and relationship having this feeling of love that is feeling of coexistence harmony in the relationship and living with this feeling of love you know living with this coexistence harmony in the relationship this is the outcome of paying attention so this is in brief what i would say regarding this paying attention or you know one may call it meditation or one may call it you know concentration and things like that yes
yeah this one more thing you know that when we talk about paying attention what is important is to decide what is the object of paying attention otherwise it is very simple you know you decide to pay attention and you can pay attention that's it nothing more to do but the important thing is to decide what is the object of attention when we think that the world outside is important we pay attention to the world outside when we think you know come to see that yes self is also important we pay attention to the self when we come to realize that in self you know understanding is important this b1 is important contemplation understanding and realization is important is important then we start paying attention to these higher activities of the self otherwise we are busy with the lower activities of self most of the time so that is important so ultimately we are talking about paying attention every moment number 1 number 2 paying attention to the whole existence to the whole reality mm. so that we can understand the reality and we can be with the reality right in the right manner every moment yeah so this object of attention is very important and unfortunately today the problem is that we have come to believe that this world outside this physical world is all that is important so the self is not something of importance you know today the body is important the house is important the road is important the electricity is important right the food is important the money is important so we are paying attention to all these things and we are busy all the time managing them right we have no attention towards the self what is the consciousness there is no attention towards the space <clears throat> which is at the base if you are not able to see the self and the space you can never realize the importance of relationship harmony in coexistence you will only see opposition fight struggle right and ultimately the war and that is what we are doing this is what we are doing paying attention outside trying to see things outside the physical gross things and trying to make our life meaningful with that and it does not work नमस्ते सर नमस्ते नमस्ते सर नमस्ते सर को सर यस आई वांट टू से अबाउट दिस मेडिटेशन व्हाट एवर यू सर टोल्ड दिस इज रियली रियली आई मीन वेरी ट्रू बिकॉज अर्लियर आई वाज नॉट इनटू दिस मेडिटेशन बट ड्यू टू द लॉकडाउन 
and that's why i always used to say my wife thanks to the lockdown then i started thinking and meditate more on the reality and then sir i found like uh, from where i have come and then what is my existence on this earth and then why i am here into this particular area of teaching then why i am here in this uh, you know uh, in this college only and sir i started collecting all so many things then i found that this coexistence in existence in coexistence is everywhere in every unit even once i say like any any anything in the department for example nowadays we have the first year students in our college so see the admission process is taken by some you know three four uh, you know clerks and all and then they have given it to the class teacher class teacher has made the uh, roll numbers and their uh, you know uh, email ids and that and then they make even class and then again they have done some you know one activity say class councils and the class council again is helping the every department to find out who is the cr and how we can you know participate that cr can participate in the development of the uh, department so all things are very very correlated in each and every object and that i can see uh, through the meditation and one thing is also there uh, there is a one subject called software project management in this there is a one uh, topic called wbs work breakdown structure in this work breakdown structure uh, always there is a dependency on the smallest task to the higher task and once the first smallest task cannot be completed on time the other will be slipped out and the project will be failure so we do not care more to find out what is the you know smallest point in every object but thanks to the meditation it gave me more clarity about the smallest smallest point to think about because because of this only and uh, the problems arise and i think uh, in this project management subject there is a word also like root cause problem i mean the root what is the root of the problem because the root of the problem is very small while the problems we see in a very big you know uh, size while the uh, other problems which are associated it is with because of the smallest other things which for which we have not paid the attention so that's why i mean all these things which you taught i mean which you told is really 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 now you know uh, i can correlate very easily thank you sir yes in fact even when you are at war you are expected to have a very good relationship and harmony among your own army so even to fight you want good relationship and harmony isn't it yes sir yes sir yes yes sir that very is true. true very true so that i can see in the department also the same thing we all are yeah. there yeah. then in the department that i am saying even in the you know war yeah. place yeah. yeah yeah very true sir because all again i mean once i see like uh, yes department my i mean i just start with the you know smallest port part and then the department then the college all the department the college in the society the society is in the you know nation so it is all a very nice structure we can see everywhere whatever i will just see uh, i have to pay attention on a particular object and then the i can find out what is the smallest part in this for example just like as whenever i see one speaker okay now this speaker is having a lot of things and then the smallest part part is this and because of this the output is this so i can see each and everything in in the harmony and the in coexistence and uh, as well as without the smallest thing it cannot give the output which it is giving right now 
So yes. Yes, I can and see while that. paying attention, I have to move up to my higher levels of activity. Because if I look at the parts only, right, that is not sufficient. I have to look at the parts and I have to look at the relationship between parts. Right. That is important. And who is seeing this relationship? The self. Right? Yes, 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 yes. Very true. To see that relationship, the self has to move to its own higher level of activity. Otherwise, if you are just seeing at the level of testing and selecting, you will only see these isolated objects. Yes. Isn't it? Yes, yes. Very true. And that is the crisis. We are seeing things as you know, isolated objects. And then we have this freedom to, you know, imagine whether it is um, in opposition or in relationship. So most of the time we end up assuming that they are in opposition. So that is how Darwin will say that everything, you know, there is struggle for survival and survival of the fittest. Because he is looking at them as objects, as isolated objects, and now he's free to interpret whether they are these objects are related to each other, you know, in a relation, in a mean way of relationship or way of opposition. Correct. Understood. Because uh, all are uh, anyhow related with the nature. Everything, if I can see. It is all related with the nature because if I talk about the part, that part of this particular speaker has come from some raw materials. Again, I have to think in that particular aspect of the raw material from where it is coming. So then only I can see the completeness of this particular part. Yeah, and and even these parts, you know, when you are talking about the part of a mic. Right? You have this mic in your mind. And with respect to that mind and the mic, you have these different parts and their relationship. So just seeing the parts is not going to help. I should be able to see the parts and then I should be able to see the relationship between these parts. Mm. Isn't it? Yes, yes, very true. Otherwise, these parts will become meaningless. Yes. Very true, sir. Otherwise, uh, if the relationship is not there, because the output of the one part will become the input to the other, and the output of the other will become the input to the other. So that uh, you know chain need to be seen uh, very in deep. Yes. So somewhere you have to see relationship, and when you see relationship, for example, between Earth and Sun. There is so much of space in between. So are they isolated objects or they are objects related to each other? Yes, they are related. So I should be able to see the objects through my eyes, okay, through my selecting and testing. But at the level of contemplation, I should be able to see the relationship between them. So when I see relationship, it changes the whole, you know, my perception about the reality and also changes my whole program of action. Correct, sir. Very true. So unfortunately, we are only paying attention to the world outside and there also we are just paying attention to the form most of the time, sometimes paying attention to the property. So we need to pay attention to the world outside, the physical world. We have to pay attention to the self. We have to pay attention to the space, number one. Number two, even when we are paying attention to the world outside, we have to pay attention to all these five aspects. The form, the property, the natural characteristic, the self-organization and the coexistence. Yes, sir. 
यस सर नमस्ते सभी को सर ऑल दिस वाइल समहाउ माय अंडरस्टैंडिंग वाज सेम बट सिंस इयर्स सर अभी तक का सर मेरा अंडरस्टैंडिंग ये होता था कि संस्कार मतलब कि अच्छे संस्कार ही होते हैं जी फिर मुझे समझ में आया सर कि संस्कार को भी प्योरीफाई करने की जरूरत है जी सर ये ये प्रोसेस आपने जैसा बोला वो मुझे समझ में आया कि सारी बातें अल्टीमेटली डिसीजन लेने की होती हैं इफ आई डिसाइड देन द प्रोसेस स्टार्ट्स पर सर ये प्रोसेस थोड़ा सा आप और इलेबोरेट करके बताओगे आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड कि ये मेरी गलती है व्हेन आई लुक बैक शायद मुझे सोर्स भी समझ में आ जाए कि संस्कार की गड़बड़ी कहाँ हो गई उस पर हम लोग काफी डिटेल बात कर रहे हैं एक्सरसाइज वन एंड टू में सो यू नो वी हैव टू स्टार्ट पेइंग अटेंशन टू वट एवर इज गोइंग ऑन इन आवर इमेजिनेशन राइट दैट इज वन थिंग दैट वी हैव टू डू देन वी हैव टू आस्क यू नो लुक एट द फीलिंग द डिजायर व्हिच इज देयर एट द बेस ऑफ दिस इमेजिनेशन and then we have to ask this question whether this feeling that i have at this moment at the base of my imagination is it naturally acceptable to me or is it not naturally acceptable to me if it is naturally acceptable to me i already have a good sanskar if it is not naturally acceptable to me then it is not a good sanskar so what do i do i have set it right ji sir that is how i can purify my sanskar but we talk about this in quite detail when we talk about this exercise 1 and exercise 2 i do not know whether you were there for this exercise 1 and 2 when we were talking about it uh if you are not there next time we we keep repeating this again and again because this is very important so next time when we introduce this exercise 1 and 2 uh, you can be there and see the detail but in essence it means this that i have become aware of my imagination particularly the feeling the desire which is there at the base of imagination then i ask myself whether this desire this feeling is naturally acceptable to me or not if it is naturally acceptable to me it is fine it is a good sanskar if it is not in line with my natural acceptance then i will set it right this is how i can purify my sanskar so the process is simple but it has to be worked out you know because we have been accumulating so many of these sanskar one after the other without really being aware of them without evaluating them so now i have to be aware of them and i have to evaluate them and make sure that every feeling that i have every desire that i have is in line with my natural acceptance and not otherwise that is going to be the process of purification of my sanskar but we need in, need to get into the details of it we spend almost 10 days you know 2 hours in the morning working on this right sir yes Thank Good you morning, so much sir. Thank Good you. morning sir. Good morning. Good morning Vinay ji. Thank you sir. Uh sir when we say that uh, there is a space and there is a uh, conscious uh, two different uh, things. When a self is without uh, means is not coexisting with body it is into uh, space. And as we know uh, have understood that space is inactive or uh, there is no activity in the space so when a self is in space whether there is any activity in the space or uh, means in the self or it is also uh, having no activity and another thing is from space when the self uh, gets into coexistence with some body how this uh, decision is made that which body 
the self should coexist and whether the self can play any role in deciding what body it should coexist with or is it decided by some other uh, consciousness i would like to know this sir yeah regarding your first question what we said that space is no activity but all activities are taking place in space you have slightly modified it you know when you are saying there is no activity in space no i am not saying that i am saying space is no activity but all activities are taking place in space okay okay understood yes so self is there in space self is an unit and there are lot of activities going on in the self right right yes regarding your second question we have already mentioned this you know in the last uh, session yesterday that while we are associated with the body we can do lot of studies about how this you know self and body you know is there and how it is the interaction between the self and the body and whether the being of the self is dependent on the body or not dependent on the body all those details we studied yesterday you know at least we tried to study today and we also responded to this question of how you choose to associate with a body and i was giving this example that in a workshop of 100 people in 3 4 days you have four five groups or 10 groups of people you know now if you ask them how did you identify your group you know you think that you did not do it consciously but you did it consciously <clears throat> so you search for like minded people people with your sanskar and you associate with them but we are doing all this in a, you know an awareness sleeping mode similarly we are associating with the body every moment by choice so i am choosing to associate with the body therefore i am associating if i choose not to associate i can part away but we don't realize that we are doing it by choice isn't it yes so we have to increase our awareness and observation right then we'll be able to see that we are making choice okay so when uh, a self uh, learns uh, throughout the uh, uh, life with a uh, coexistence of a human body whatever he has learned whatever he has uh, understood after uh, departing from this body whether that uh, content which uh, uh, the self has learned and understood remains with it or it also gets destroyed because there are examples we have responded to all these questions in the in the past session yeah okay okay sir yeah but i can just briefly say that you know even when you go to a place you know visit a place and you come back after 10 days somebody ask you oh, what did you see okay you will mention some 10 things to 20 things right and you think that this is what you remember but when you go back to that place you can recall that you had seen all those many things you know so we are purposely deciding what to keep in front memory and what to push back in the you know back memory so all this process is happening okay. but we talked about this yes okay okay yes okay sir thank you thank you very much thank you aap log ka question hum nahi liya sakta